Okay. So here's the plan. At the moment, I have a, a custom built dual booting Windows 10 and Mac OS Mojave install. I have Thunderbolt running with UAD. I have everything's working fine, but I'm finding that the graphics are choking a little bit. So I have picked up this Radeon RX 570 a gigabyte, which apparently is natively supported in Mac OS X or Mac, Mac OS. Um, so what I'm going to do now is install it and hopefully I don't end up with a kernel panic or anything crazy. At the minute everything's working fine. I've backed up the OS and stuff like that to make sure that it can be back up and running if I need to do another install of Mojave, but hopefully I don't. Um, so yeah, I'm going to crack open this computer and throw in this graphics card, get it all reconnected up, and then I'll just fly by the seat of my pants and see if this works. And if it doesn't boot up, then I'll... Uh, I'll just put up Windows and install the drivers for it, and it'll be grand. But I'll need to figure it out, I guess, if it doesn't work. But if it's simple enough, and I'll upload this video either way, I guess. Um, and then people all know if it works or if it doesn't work, if it's a pain in the ass or if it's easy. So yeah, cool. So just to show people this. I have a be quiet power supply which is semi modular so I need the PCI Express power cables and then this is the actual card which seems has a decent weight to it fairly chunky ASOS are a pretty good brand a couple of cable ties in the box that was that was it okay so this is it in the machine. PCI Express power is in. Connected to the power supply. Just need to connect up my uh, monitor and test it out. Back in a sec. Okay. So as you can see, it's in the machine. It's powered on. Um, I had a minor freak out because. There was no no visuals. Um and I couldn't figure out how to get them. The onboard graphics were still working fine, but the HDMI and the display port weren't working on the graphics card. Um I figured it must be something to do with the BIOS, but it was changing to like primary primary display device to be PCI Express and stuff like that. Um nothing was working. So I ended up resetting the BIOS to default, took a photograph of all my settings beforehand and uh, whenever I reset the BIOS to the optimal defaults it recognised it and now I'm getting a picture. Um, so now the moment of truth will be if macOS boots up and doesn't have a kernel panic but given how things are going I'm not holding my breath. In order to get the Apollo to work and be detected, here's a little. So you have to turn it on, but at this screen, basically, the boot screen, where uh, one of these is Windows and the other one, this one, is my Mac OS install. So let's see how it goes. So far, so good. Yeah, sweet.
happy days. There's a, and there's the Apollo connecting. Just double check. Yeah, Apollo's connected. And then we'll just go to is it system about this Mac. Hopefully you can read that. With the eight gigabyte RX five seventies showing up, natively supported. Boot it up very quickly there. Happy. So hopefully that gives people a bit more confidence who are maybe thinking about doing the same thing. Um yeah. So, time to put the side back on this computer, and it's quiet too, so I'll have to run it through its paces for some video editing and a bit of gaming and stuff, and, but yeah, that's cool. Alright, well, hopefully this was useful for somebody. Uh, it was madly stressful for me, but at least there's no kernel panics, everything's working grand, so cool. Cheers.